The Story of Tommy Tomato Tommy Tomato was standing behind the bush when he heard his friends talking. He's definitely not one of us. He's not a vegetable at all. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> thinking you're a vegetable. <laughs> Off he walked alone, back towards the town, kicking pebbles along the dirty path. He raised his head and saw some other friends ahead playing under a big tree. Oscar Orange and Sally Strawberry were pretending to fight each other with sticks. Gracie Great was drawing a picture while resting against the trunk of the tree. Can I play? Tommy picked up a stick and waved it around. On guard! Shouldn't you be playing with the vegetables? Poor old Tommy didn't even wait to answer. He walked away with the stick still in his hand, scraping off the ground and his head hung low. He didn't belong with the fruits or the vegetables. He didn't care which he was and he wished they didn't either. That night, as he lay tucked up in bed, he remembered where he first grew up. His memories were ripe, and he remembered even when he was green and not yet ready to leave the bushes, when he was the same as everyone around him. Tommy Tomato was an adventurer, though. He didn't want to be the same. He wanted to meet all sorts. Now he wasn't so sure. It didn't take Tommy long to get his plan into action. He waited until everyone was in a deep sleep before he stole off silently with his little toolkit and paintbrushes. The little tomato went to the houses of all his fruit friends and all of his vegetable friends. Tommy was exhausted when he finally finished. Mr. Sun was smiling at the little tomato's joke as he rose that morning. Tommy Tomato was exhausted and fell into a deep sleep but was woken soon after by the hubbub going on about the town. Barney Broccoli had woken up as a pineapple. Sally Strawberry was crying because she had become a brown potato. And Oscar the Orange, well, he had woken up as Oscar the Tomato. Tommy looked out of his window and giggled to himself as he saw everyone running around like a bunch of nincompoops. Tommy Tomato got dressed, careful to put his little hat on to keep his stalk warm. Gracie Grape, who now looked like a lima bean, came up to him in a panic. Why, you haven't changed at all, Tommy. Nope, I'm still the same. And so are you. And after a while, Tommy Tomato and Gracie the Pretend Bean were playing together like two peas in a pod. Soon everyone joined in. The Pretend Apple was skipping with a Pretend Cauliflower. The Pretend Cucumber was playing hopscotch with a Pretend Peach. Tommy Tomato played with everyone, happier than he had ever been before. A growling roll of thunder changed his mood though, and as the rain splashed down suddenly, the paint and disguises were washed off the mixed fruit and vegetables. Within a few seconds, everyone was looking around at each other, realising what had happened. <laughs> everyone had a big smile on their face as they looked at each other. They all looked so silly, half covered in paint. Tommy Tomato was once again part of neither group and he began to walk away sadly. Tommy! Come back and play with us! But I'm not really a fruit or vegetable. I'm not like you. Barney Broccoli and Oscar Orange picked him up on their shoulders. Yay! But we're all the same! Tommy. Now we know. With that, Tommy leapt down from his friend's shoulders. The End. <laughs>